as I mentioned from my previous video, STP versus STP, Spanning Tree Protocol is already dead. Which, by the way, I was there by my colleague to sing an STP song. Well, I'm not called the Cloud and Data Center Rockstar for nothing anyway. In this video, I will discuss more why STP is something you should not use in a production environment. We will introduce VPC, MLAT, and their difference. This is part one, and in part two, I will do more lab demonstration. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am your cloud and data sensor, Rockstar. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. This is how STP operates. We need to block ports in order to prevent loops. And by preventing loops, we have now a more effective host-to-host -host communications in a redundant network topology without any issues. But wouldn't it be better if we don't block ports? We will keep all redundant links from this topology. Not only that, we will also enable redundant devices as well. Now, let's add more redundancy. Why? Because it's a good idea, since all links will be used anyway. From the two servers, we will also add redundant links towards to the upstream switches. We will also have redundant links per switch pair. These are called VPC or MLAG peer link. Now, it's better. We are ready and it's time to enable VPC or MLAG. Virtual port channel VPC and multi-chassis link aggregation group MLAG. The concept of both VPC and MLAG is to maintain active active path in a redundant layer two topology. It can actually be layer three if we use FHRP such as HSRP, VERP, and many more. And the goal is to simply avoid spanning tree block ports by converting a loop topology to just a redundant topology. We utilize standard base IEEE 802.1 AD, also known as Link Aggregation Control Protocol or LACP. Now, VPC is a proprietary protocol and this is used by Cisco Nexus switches and MLAG is more open standards used by Arista and other vendors. Other terminology used are stack-wise, virtual, and this is used exclusively by Cisco Catalyst 9000 switches. We also have MCLAN. This is used by Juniper, Fortinet, and many others. VPC versus MLAG peer links. What's the difference? Well, both use peer links for layer two information exchange between the two switches. But Arista also uses the peer link for keep alive. And in Arista, peer link is an SVI or a switch virtual interface, which is a layer three port. Cisco uses layer two interfaces for the peer link. And it also uses a different interface for the keep alive. By default, it's the management interface, but you can also change this to any port you prefer. The peer link occasionally uses data, but this is only for single attached hosts, or sometimes we call it orphan ports. Our topology is now ready, and we now know the concept of both MLAG and VPC. How do we really implement this? Okay, see that first pair? Yeah, the core slash collapse core switches. 
we are going to pair them by applying the required VPC or MLAG configuration. And upon successful implementation, those switches would act like a single device. We are also going to create VPC or MLAG interfaces towards the downstream switches. And logically, it would look something like this. Cleaner and simpler, but we still have a look. Let's continue this. We are also going to pair those access switches. Again, they would act like a single device. And we're also going to create VPC or MLAG interfaces towards the server. And on those servers, you also need to enable NIC teaming, which is also equivalent to port channel, ether channel, or link aggregation interfaces. So logically, it would look like this. Okay, uh, cleaner and simpler. This is what we call back-to-back -back VPC or MLAG-to-MLAG -MLAG pair. Point is, no more loops, no more block ports. If an interface or a device goes down, traffic will still flow smoothly. There would be no more STP recalculations and no more port mode transitions. It's more efficient. This is what we use in a production environment, but there is still a little limitation. And we're going to talk about this in another video. Trivia. Both VPC and MLAG is like a marriage. You see VPC MLAG peer link? This serves as the ring. These switches are pair. Let's say you are this switch. You can't pair with any other switch. So as in marriage, you can't have another partner. It will not just work. And also you will be dead. I will see you on the next video where I do more lab demonstration for both VPC and MLAC.